I launched bookmarks. If you become a patron from now until September 16th, you will receive one of these in the mail along with a personalized letter from me. If you become a patron on any of the tiers, I have a whole video explaining it. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name's Alex. This is my channel Books and Paperbacks where I make YouTube terms bookish. I talk all about LGBTQ plus books and today I am sharing my first edition of the update to my channel. So this is my end of summer TBR. All of the books I would like to get to before the summer is over and we don't have long so let's get into it. Next Thursday I'm actually going to be on a flight to San Francisco to meet one of my booktube friends Sarah. I'm fully vaccinated, we're going to a concert and then I'm going to make my way over to LA and have a little vlog for you all. So I'm going to try and document as much as I can but also just have a nice vacation because I definitely need one. So I am going to probably not bring as many books as I would like. I'm going to rely on a lot of audiobooks because I am going to be taking a lot of flights. So I like to have an audiobook just to help my anxiety and to just relax. So I'm going to be reading One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This is a book that I got through Libro FM's ALC program where you can get audiobooks early and review them so I wanted to get to this one but I haven't yet so I thought as I'm traveling that would be the perfect one. I did read Red, White, and Royal Blue but I have to tell you I could not remember a single thing except the one scene in the barn. If you know, you know. <laughs> So I'm excited to read this one and I will let you know what I think in my seasonal wrap up. So I'm going to be doing seasonal TBRs and seasonal wrap ups but on my Patreon I actually do monthly wrap ups so if you would like to become a patron like you saw at the beginning I have some bookmarks that are available and you can become a part of the paperback pals and have an exclusive bookmark and join us and if you want to see some of my exclusive content instead of just waiting for my seasonal wrap-ups you can actually watch my monthly wrap-ups on Patreon. I am doing a special offer right now where you can get a bookmark if you sign up to become a patron. So this is international. Anybody can get it. I will be sending you a personalized note and also a bookmark so we can be all paperback pals together. It's like a secret club and I'm so excited to send them out. The next book I want to read I actually just put on hold on my library and this is The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory which is so funny because I don't read romance but I did read Party of Two this year and I really enjoyed it and I just want to read more of her books and that one was available. And the last and final book on my travel TBR is the only physical book I'll be bringing and this is Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating by Adiba Jagadar. I'm actually bringing this because my friend who I'm going to visit in San Francisco actually bought me this for my birthday. She pre-ordered it for me and so I thought I would do some due diligence by reading it as I'm on the way to visit her. In January I had Bookopoly pick my TBR and I read The Henna Wars so if you'd like to see my thoughts on that it will be up here. I gave it a five a star but if you want to see my live reactions you can go and watch that video. So I'm very excited to read this especially because I have heard a lot about it recently and I just really enjoyed The Henna Wars so I know I'm going to enjoy this one and fake dating is one of my favorite tropes. So that is it for the books that I'm hoping to bring on vacation and hopefully read but I don't know if I will get a lot of reading done. But here are the rest of the books that are on my TBR for the end of the summer. First is Future Feeling by Joss Lake. This is a sci-fi following a trans man and also a trans influencer. They're not the same character but I am so excited. The publisher actually sent me this book and I am just so excited. This is an adult book and I don't read enough adult books. I believe this is on voices as well and I just love seeing trans characters in adult books and I'm not a big sci-fi person but I feel like I'm going to. Also I'll have all of the books linked down below if you would like to know more about them.
Next, I actually received this from the same publisher, and this is Love is an X Country by Rhonda Jarr, and I feel like this is perfect because it is about a queer Muslim fat woman who goes on a road trip. So maybe I'll bring this with me on my travels, but I'm not totally sure. I think after traveling, I might still want to read some road trip books. I don't read enough road trip books and they're actually one of my favorite tropes to read. Next is a book that actually comes out August 24th, so I would like to get around to it this month because Penguin Teen sent me Both Sides Now by B. and Thomas. This is a trans book and I actually have an unboxing for it. And basically, I don't know what this is really about and I don't want to know too much about it, but I do know that it is politically charged because it says some things like who you are and who you love are not up for debate. This is about Finch Kelly who wants to be the first trans congressman and it is about him preparing for the national debate championship and he ends up falling for a boy named Jonah and I think that is so ironic because if you don't watch any of my writing videos I actually am I'm on a pause with this book right now but I am in the process of writing my own trans high school musical retelling and my main character is Jonah. I think I thought that was ironic. I don't see a lot of characters named Jonah in books. So I'm excited to read this one and I will let you know my thoughts once I do. Next is actually a segue from writing and this is the next book that I actually got to research for my hockey book that I'm revising right now and I am doing research by reading books and so I went on Goodreads and I actually found a book with type 1 diabetes rep and there was an own voices review who said it has the best rep and so I picked it up and this is Let Me List the Ways by Sarah White and I'm gonna read it just to see how other people write type 1 diabetes. If you don't watch any of my writing content, I have a side character who has type 1 diabetes and I've been reading all about it and I actually read a hockey player's memoir in my video where I swapped my screen time with reading time and so I read his whole memoir and it was really fun. So you can watch a lot of my content if you're new here or you just haven't caught up. So I have not started this yet, but once I do, I will be including that content in my writing vlog. So if you're new here and you want to see some of my writing content and my bookish content, hit subscribe and turn on my bell notification so you don't miss a video or just check below really quick because YouTube has been just unsubscribing people and this has happened to me a couple of times in the last month. So just check to see if you are subscribed because YouTube just keeps doing that and it's really annoying. Another book I would like to get to is Rent a Boyfriend by Gloria Chow. I'm actually doing a series on my Patreon. I started it I think in April or May so I really need to get ahead of schedule but I got some recommendations from my TBR co and I'm going to be reading them and I already read one but this is another recommendation and I'm excited to read it. This has a fake dating trope and I believe that is why it was recommended to me because I asked for fake dating and received this one and I'm very excited to read it. And to wrap up this video, I'm actually filming a reading vlog for the Among Us readathon that is happening and I will have some of the information down below. I'm currently reading Fat Chance Charlie Vega and I was actually sent this by one of my friends, Sarah at Stream Bean Books. So thank you, Sarah, for sending me this. I am very excited to read more of it. I've heard a lot of great things about it so far and it actually has pansexual rep. For the Among Us Readathon, I am on Team Lime and one of the challenges is to read a book with disability rep and I already read it but you'll hear more in my vlog and this is A Kind of Spark by L. McNichol. This is a book by an actually autistic author and it follows a 11 year old girl named Addie who is autistic and she is learning about the witch trials of her town in school and she is trying to get a memorial built for them. It has a lot of ableism so trigger warning for that but it was awesome and I can't wait for you to hear more of my thoughts in my reading vlog. And for the last challenge I have two options and this is for the challenge to read a book with a heart on the cover. So I was initially going to pick up Beyond the Gender Binary because there is a heart right here but my great friends Ash J and Asher Reed sent me Meet Cute Diary by Emery Lee and there is a heart right in diary to dot the I and so I am 
not sure what I'm going to do, <laughs> but you'll just have to find out in my reading vlog. I hope you like this style of content and my seasonal content I'm going to be putting out. So I'm going to be having seasonal TBRs. I'm actually going to be having two. I have an announcement coming on Wednesday, so my next TBR will be related to that, but other than that, you will also see my autumn TBR, which will span from September, October, and November. I will also be doing seasonal wrap-ups. So the next wrap-up will just be like a summer wrap-up. Because I haven't done a concrete wrap-up on this channel, you are actually going to be seeing a best books of the year video. So I'll just share a lot of the books that I enjoyed this year so far. And I'll be having seasonal book hauls split with a library haul. So the library haul will be in the book haul and a seasonal wrap up. So you're just going to be getting like an end of summer wrap up, a fall wrap up, and then like end of the year wrap up. So I hope you enjoy this new content. And if you are new here, please hit subscribe and like the video. It would really help support my channel and help other people get to see my channel. I am very excited for the announcement coming on Wednesday. So put my notifications on if you haven't. And if you would like to become a paperback pal and receive a bookmark, my Patreon link is down below or at the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you on Wednesday with my announcement. Bye.